I've just had the most amazing experience using AI that would have cost me thousands if I'd hired someone to do the work instead. The human has been neutralized. I decided to make Chat, GPT and Notion AI my creative assistants for just one day and it actually worked. These AI hacks are productivity superchargers. Annoyingly, they're also way more helpful than Pepper, who is just off in her own world these days. Yeah, if you create content or write as part of your workflow, you're gonna find that you can do things faster, more easily, and with more inspiration with these amazing ways to make Chat GPT your best, your best, your best friend. And rule one, if you input simple instructions, you'll get simple results. So, in this video, I'll show you the incredible ways to use AI that actually work to supercharge the speed and quality of what you write, whatever it is. Hi, it's Simon. Welcome back to Better Creating. And yes, I spent a few days using the AI. And as you'll find out with the final example in this video, it resulted in what I think was the best creative discovery I've found in a while. The first question to answer is, what is ChatGPT? And well, let's ask ChatGPT. Cool, so it is essentially a conversational model. So if you give it the right focused prompts and collaborate with it, it can do some pretty incredible things. So use case one is coming up with tighter copy and writing better hooks and titles. If your job involves any kind of writing or content production, be it YouTube videos, product descriptions, social media tools, ChatGPT can help you say things in less words, in more compelling ways, or even optimize your hooks and titles for better engagement. Here are some example instructions that have worked for me so you can model the same. First, I took this landing page copy I was writing for a Notion product I'm working on and asked ChatGPT to write me a list of SEO optimized titles and headlines for a digital productivity tool, make the words dramatic and base it on the following paragraph. Pretty cool. You can get really specific by inspiring the AI to think in a certain way. I wrote this, you are an award-winning marketing specialist, rewrite the following paragraph using simpler language and more dramatic wording and optimize it for SEO. I think the key is to work with the AI in stages to hone things, but also not to just rely on it blindly, you have to edit from what it gives you and apply your own writing style and personal touches to really finish it off. But I then realized, AI can streamline a load of other jobs I need to get done, like helping me write the sales email for my future product launch. And the prompt I used was this, write me a launch day sales email based on what you have written in this chat, targeted for members of my mailing list, and encourage them to click the links to view the products and download them. How cool is that? So, okay, I need to tweak it a little bit myself but I also don't just use it verbatim. Don't do it. This is a guide to rewrite with your own personal touch. As I say, you have to have your own authentic voice, but I think that the quality and kind of understanding of a good email is probably a better place to start than if I just made it up. And shameless plug though, join my waiting list in the description if you want to receive the final version or like the look of those icons and templates. Second brain productivity, baby. We're taking over the world. The next amazing way to leverage AI is tip two, to improve work you did in the past. Yeah, okay, so insert your own version here, but as a YouTuber, one of the best use cases is to help old videos perform better. This YouTube video on overcoming procrastination has been underperforming. I know the content is super valuable from the people that watch it, but I think it's the title. It's just not reaching enough people. So I decided to find better titles for it and to see if that would reignite the views. I asked ChatGPT to write me 20 video titles for a YouTube video, make the words dramatic and base it on the following script. If you're a YouTuber, that was inspired by the excellent channel Film Booth, so check them out. YouTuber Paddy Galloway recently posted his own example of trying this, and it would seem that the AI might have the inside track on SEO and YouTube optimized titles. Because look at that graph. I'm gonna change the title on this, see if it changes things. It's an interesting experiment. Oh, and obviously go and watch it. I'll link it below. And since we're taking time to click things, a sub to the channel would be a very good click too. So next I wanted to finally work on improving my sales page and conversion for my Notion templates. I know that the products are good, but it's just not proving to hit a high enough percentage conversion. So 
Let's try this, tip number three, using AI to learn how to do something better. So let's say that you want to help market your new side hustle properly. ChatGPT was at capacity, so I actually turned to Notion AI installed in my workspace, and it's based on the GPT-3 version. I wrote this. You are an industry leading marketing expert and sales specialist, teaching me how to market and write compelling copy for a digital product landing page. Let's think in steps. It came up with, ah, well, a simple and okay answer. A second go resulted in a different style of answer, so it's always worth trying a second input. It wasn't bad, but I'd have to really work hard to get detailed knowledge from it. For more research-based work, ChatGPT is probably the way to go for now. I asked it later on, and it came up with these fundamentals. So again, a great guiding set of headlines, it still won't make me an overnight marketing expert, but the next bit might make you a really happy learner. I then asked the AI to list steps for points one and two, and then share the best online places to learn these skills. And it found me places to learn. Amazing. And it came up with the great resources I wasn't aware of that essentially gave me a checklist for my next week's work. Of course, you need to check the accuracy, but wow, it's definitely saved me hours. So AI tip four is summarize or repurpose your content for other formats. Do you ever feel like you could be doing more to promote your skills, services, brand? I definitely do, but the admin is always too much to cover everything you want to achieve. I've been wanting to improve my Twitter presence and engagement for a while, but just can't seem to make the time. The problem is I know I have a ton of carefully developed YouTube video scripts that would make great Twitter threads if they were condensed. So you guessed it, I turned to ChatGPT for help. Before I show you the prompt I used to get it, here's the result. A full Twitter thread of valuable repurposed contents ready to go. It will even publish automatically using my Q for Notion extension. I wrote into the AI then, summarize the following YouTube video script into a Twitter thread that covers the key ideas, making the first tweet a great hook to get the reader to read the rest of the thread. This is unbelievably cool in getting the word count right and everything. It took a few goes, admittedly, on this one, but wow, the results were great. That's an editing job that would have taken me or an assistant 30 minutes to get done. I've done it in five. That's a hell of a lot more content for the time put in. So use case five is better idea generation. This is quick and simple and a nice way to generate ideas. I simply said, I want to write an engaging Twitter thread. Can you suggest 15 tips on how to find or build a great Notion second brain template for beginners? Nice, again, edit yourself, but as a quick inspiration, it's fab. Insert your use case here, whether it's top 10 iPad accessories or just to list brilliant 90s comedy movies in order. Airplane though, it literally says 1980 on there. Unbelievable. Anyway, that's a Saturday night curry night sorted. AI hack six, a story hunter. So before I reveal what you need to type to really leverage this idea with the AI, let me tell you why I think it's such a powerful hack. If you create content, sell things, teach people, or need to be engaging and persuasive in any way, you'll probably know that being able to tell good stories to engage your audience is at the heart of everything. The right story can help your audience both believe you and trust you. So I asked Notion AI to find me a true story about how using digital organization systems was the key to to entrepreneurial success. And here's what I got. One of the most inspiring success stories of the past decade is that of entrepreneur and tech savvy business owner, Jack Johnson. Johnson credits his success to his commitment to digital organization systems. There you go, that is going in my sales copy. So this story stuff got me thinking about how far I could take my AI collaboration, and it resulted in what I think is one of the best discoveries of all. Number seven, it can become your personal pocket research assistant and creative muse. But to do this, you have to work and think in steps. Okay, I absolutely love this example. I spend a lot of time collecting useful ideas on this channel to make life easier and more productive. And referencing books I've read and people I've listened to is a big part of that. Problem is, it takes forever to refine those quotes. If you've ever written an essay, you'll know what I mean. Recently, I wanted to recap ideas from Essentialism by Greg McEwen. So rather than flick back through it, I turned to chat GPT. The AI reminded me of a mantra I originally knew from the design world, less but better. And then I realized that that's actually a concept I reference all the time on the channel. I told chat GPT about this revolution and asked it to find me other authors, designers, or sources that use it. And it did, it took a bit of prompting to keep going, but now I have five new references to check out and an outline for a new video. This would work for references for essay writing or just finding all those obscure Will Ferrell movies you haven't seen yet. Cool, right?
Go try it out and let me know what you make of it in the comments if you can access it for all the traffic. And well, all this collaboration got me thinking about trying to use all of that for an entire video on how to live by the principles of less but better. So if you'd like to learn how to do that, watch my chat GPT collaboration video when it comes up. And while you do, definitely go and check out Better Creating to join my mailing list. It would be awesome if you subscribed, great if you left a like, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.